Hello and welcome to a new With the Fire Films video. Today I'm going to show you how to use and install Bungie Cord. Bungie Cord is not bucket nor is it spigot. It's its own little thing. Solely made for the purpose of making hub servers. Everything that you will need to download is in the description. <coughs> to set up your hub server, this is what you do. You go in the folder that you're going to run it in. Make a separate Bungie Cord folder. You need your bungiecord.jar and your run.bat. Whenever you run it, you know you have the right thing for it. I'll put the code in the description as well. And you need all your server folders that you're going to use. Okay, so I'm just going to um, launch this in a sec. I'll be right back. So to set up the hub, you need to go to this, run this, minimize that, and then just run all of your servers. And remember, each server needs to be on a different port, otherwise they will not all work. Now remember, I have already done this, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you already have. Okay, I wonder why this crater is here. But anyways, how you know you did it right is that when you do slash server, it will tell you what server you are connected to and what servers you may connect to. To connect to another server, you just do slash server and then the name of the server. Really simple. Running on this one as well, that's quite rare. To configure everything, you'll need to stop all of your servers and then go to the config that is made in the Bungie Cord folder. And anyways, if you want to stop the streaming for the uh, Bungie Cord run.bat, you just type in end instead of stop. And then once it says press any key to continue, you may just press the space bar and exit it out. Some things do not touch in the config that I suggest is either groups, disabled commands, or stats, especially stats because it is a long code that I think that if you change it even the slightest it will just mess the whole thing up so I'd rather just not change that. Under listeners for your fallback server you'd put the name of your hub server and that can be lobby or hub or whatever you want to call it and then you put in the max players the uh, IP to it and this is just my local IP um, the size will be on the tab, like, if you just only want a few players to be, um, listed in the tab menu, which I don't know why you would. Um, force default server, like, if you log off of one of the other servers and then you log back on, do you want to be on that server or do you want to be, uh, forced back to hub? You can change that as well. Um, tab list, global ping, I would just set that, like, to stay at global ping by default because that's just what I do. I leave things at default and they usually work, I guess. You can change the MLTD as well. And of course, again, you put in the name of your default server, which mine is hub. Enforced hosts, you put in your, your IP to your hub server and then you just put in the name of your hub server. Timeout, 30,000, I don't know what that is. And then servers, this is the most important part. You gotta put in the name of all the servers that you put in the server.properties and then you have to put like the IP and the uh, port that you put for it and then you put the MLTD online mode that, that's got to be true because if someone tries to go on your server in offline mode it's just gonna mess everything up um, so yeah and again if everything goes well and you run all your servers to make sure you know that you got to every server, um, or no, that you got every server correct in the config of the Bungie Cord folder. You do slash server, and then it should give you a list of all the servers. And it should also tell you that you're connected, what server you're connected to right now. Gosh, I'm stuttering. Um, go to slash server. So make sure that you have all of it right. Do slash server and then try to go to every single one of your servers that is listed. If you cannot get to one of them, there must be a problem or something. And you gotta go back in the config and then fix it. And that would require shutting down all of your servers, which really sucks, kind of. Because there's there's no there's no such thing as like going to the config, changing something, and then reloading, reloading the server. Oh, gosh. Um, that's it for today. With the Fire Film signing out.